All right, guys, good morning. It is week six. Um, we have one more week to go, and then it'll be summer break. This week, we are looking at um, populations and communities and how they interact. So let's look at this week's activity. All right, so this week, in this passage, um, we're looking at the Monteverde Tropical Cloud Forest in Costa Rica, which is located about 1,500 meters above sea level. At this high elevation, moisture in the air forms a thick fog that resembles a cloud. The fog collects as droplets on plants and drips into the soil. Tropical cloud forests have a lot of epiphytes, or plants that grow on trees. Strangler fig trees in Monteverde cloud are often covered in epiphytes such as mosses, bromeliads, and orchids. There are hundreds of orchid species in the Monteverde, such as Schroeder's Oncidian orchid. With which of the following best describes an ecosystem in a tropical cloud forest in Costa Rica? Strangler figs, mosses, and the fog, Schroeder's Oncidium orchids, or orchids and bromeliads. Okay, so if we're talking about ecosystems, and we talked about this at the beginning of the year, that was all the things living and non-living in that area. So it would be our strangler figs, mosses, and the fog. Okay, Antarctica krill, sorry, Antarctic krill is a species of swimming crustaceans similar to shrimp that is about five centimeters long. Krill eat the algae that grow on the undersides of sea ice in the south of the southern ocean of Antarctica. Antarctica. Sorry, guys, I'm tired today. I haven't had my coffee. Pods of humpback whales swim to the southern ocean every summer. Humpback whales and other animals, such as emperor penguins and leopard seals, eat Antarctic krill. In fact, Antarctic krill are eaten by almost every animal in Antarctica. So which of the following would best describe a community? We talked about this before. Community is a group of different organisms that live in a specific area. Okay, when we talked about populations a long time ago, it would be like humans make up a population, but humans, dogs, and cats make up a community in a certain area. Okay, so this is going to be the living things that are together in a certain area. So the algae, sea ice, and sea water, no, because that would be the ecosystem. Antarctic krill, emperor penguins, and leopard seals might work. Or a pod of humpback whales. Well, if you remember from your geography class and from what we talked about earlier this year, if it's a population, it's just one species, like the human population. So it can't be that one. So when we talk about a community, it's got to be the organisms that live there and interact. Okay. Shh. All right. The winter ant is a species that lives in colonies in Appalachian Mountains. The behavior of these ants can change their habitat. For example, as winter ants dig nests underground, they move nutrients to the surface from the surface to deeper in the soil. Winter ants eat dead earthworms, fruit, and sugary substance produced by aphids. When even through winter, ants don't eat seeds. They can move seeds around as they crawl through the forest looking for food. Wherever these seeds land, they can grow into new plants. Okay, so which of the following describes a population at an ant nest in the Appalachian Mountains? Colony of winter ants, soil nutrients and seeds, or the aphids, earthworms, and fruit. Okay, so our second choice was an ecosystem because that was everything. Aphids is community, so it has to be just ants. Okay, so remember, ecosystem is living and non-living. Community is organisms that live together but aren't necessarily the same species. And species is just one, or excuse me, population is just one species. <clears throat> 